Welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 2, Part 1, Solving Inequalities in One or More Steps, and 1 is underlined. We're going to take this nice and slow like we did with the equations. We're going to start out with just one step inequalities. Now, an inequality is like an equation, except instead of an equal sign, we're going to have one of these inequality symbols in its place. So it's going to work almost exactly like an equation, which is nice. So to start off with what the symbols are, the first one here means less than. This symbol means the left is less than the right. And whenever we graph it, and we are going to be graphing these on number lines, it's graphed with an open dot. This symbol means that the left is greater than the right. It also is represented with an open dot. The next symbol means less than or equal to. So the left is going to be less than the right or it can be equal to the right. And it's represented with a closed dot. And finally our last symbol means greater than or equal to. And it means that the left can be greater than or equal to the right. Now, because these aren't equal signs, that means that we can have a lot more things that make this not true. So, let's test to see if the statement's true if we let x equal 2. So what I want you to do now is in your group to substitute in x equals 2 into these four inequalities and decide if they are true or not. So go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Okay, number one, we sub in 2 for x. 2 plus 3 is greater than 4. 5 is greater than 4 so it is true. The second one we get 2 times 2 is less than 1. This says that 4 is less than 1 which is not true. The third one we get 3 plus 4 is greater than or equal to 5. 7 is greater than or equal to 5 so this is true. Oops. Five. And the last one, eight minus two is less than or equal to one. So this says that six is less than or equal to one, which we know is not true. So we always want to check to make sure that our statement's true. So here we have solving in one step with addition or subtraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve these and then I'm going to graph them and show you how to graph them. So let's start with the top left. We have x minus 2 is less than 4. Remember we're going to act like this inequality right here is just like an equal sign. So we still have to keep our balance. So I have x minus 2, so plus 2 plus 2, and we get x is less than 6. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a number line. And the best way to do that is to mark your number line with the number here in the middle, and then just go two numbers bigger and two numbers smaller. Now we need to look. It's x minus, I'm sorry, not x minus, x less than 6. A less than symbol is an open dot, so we're going to put an open dot on 6. And then less than. And we need to look to see which way goes less than. Is it to the left or to the right? Well, everything to the left is less than 6, so we draw an arrow going from the dot this way. And that's how we represent our answer. We represent it with the equation, 
I'm sorry, the inequality, it's not technically an equation, and the graph. Okay, the top right, we have x plus 3 greater than or equal to 8, so we subtract 3. So x is greater than or equal to 5. We're going to draw the number line, the same concept. We're going to put 5 in the middle, 6, 7, 4, 3. Now it's greater than or equal to, so we're going to put a closed dot at 5, and greater than 5 goes to the right. Now, this is a, interesting, and we'll see that here in a second. Let's just solve this. So we have x minus 3, so we're going to add 3. And then we get 9 is less than x. Well, it's weird to say 9 less than x and to try and graph that. So what we're going to do is just flip these two. So I'm going to put my x on the left, my 9 on the right. But I can't just flip this without touching my inequality symbol. Your inequality symbol always has to be pointing at the same number or the same expression. So right now it's pointing at the 9 so when I redraw it it has to point at the 9. So there we have x greater than 9. Then we put it on the number line. Greater than is an open dot and it's going to go to the right. Okay, and the last example 7 greater than or equal to x plus 6. So I'm going to subtract 6, and we get 1 is greater than or equal to x. And again, that's a bit odd to read and look at, so we're going to do the switch. So we're going to have x and 1, and then we look here, and my inequality is pointing to x, so it still has to point to x. So it's x is less than or equal to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1. So we're going to put a closed dot and go less than. And there is solving with one step with plus or minus. So what I want you to do now is to try these four examples and by pausing the video and working with your group and after you solve them don't forget to draw the number line and you graph them so go ahead and pause the video and do that now and here are the solutions to those four examples so go ahead pause the video again and discuss these with your group so do that now Okay, let's talk about solving using multiplication in one step. So all these we're going to be solving using multiplication. And using multiplication also has its own quirk to it that we're going to talk about. And we're still going to graph these on a number line. So we're going to start in the top left. x divided by 4 is less than 2. So it's a divide by 4, so we multiply by 4. which gives me x is less than 8. Draw my number line, and I'm going to draw a fast number line to save us some time. There we go. 3 is less than or equal to y over 3, so we're going to multiply by 3 to get rid of that. 3 in the denominator. We get 9 is less than or equal to y. And again, that looks weird, so we're going to switch. So it's y, 9, and it's pointing towards the 9. E 9, 10, 8. It's greater than or equal to, close dot, pointing that way. 
Now, in the bottom left, with this x divided by negative 5 less than 4, this is where it starts to get different. Whenever you multiply by a negative in an inequality, this inequality is going to do something. So we get x, we get negative 20. What this inequality does is it switches directions. When you multiply by a negative number, your inequality will switch directions. If it was pointing to the left, it'll point to the right. If it's pointing to the right, it'll point to the left. And then everything else works exactly the same. X greater than negative 20, open dot, and greater than negative 20. So here we have a divided by negative 3 is greater than or equal to 8. We multiply by negative 3, a, and then it switches, and we get negative 24. Close dot, there we go. So here are four examples. I want you to go ahead and work through these examples with your group now. And here are the solutions to those examples. So pause the video again and discuss this with your group. Okay, now we're going to talk about solving inequalities using division. And all the same ideas of multiplication apply. If it's on and addition and subtraction. If it's on, if it looks like a weird side, then you need to switch. And also, if we have a negative, our inequality symbol is going to flip. So let's start with 4x less than 16. We divide by 4. x is less than 4. And I'm running a little bit short on time here, and to save time, I'm not going to graph them. 2x is greater than 10, so divide by 2, and we get x is greater than 5. Negative 3x greater than 15, we're going to divide by negative 3. And if we divide by a negative, just like with multiplying by a negative, our inequality symbol flips. So we get x is less than negative 5. 36 greater than or equal to negative 6x. Divide by negative 6. We get negative 6 is less than or equal to x. But that doesn't look right, so we need to switch our x and our negative 6. And when we do that, our inequality also switches. So... There's a lot of just little steps to this. Nothing overly complicated, just a bunch of little steps that we need to do. Okay, here's our last set of examples. So go ahead, pause the video now, and work through these with your group. And here are the solutions to those examples. So once again, pause the video, discuss this in your group. When you're done with that, then the lesson is over.